All right, so I want to show you guys a walk through the TIV. Uh, you're going to see the edge of the gimbal here. <laughs> there it is. You can see it in the right hand bottom of your screen. Uh, we're going to go through the TIV. Here, my dad. Say hi, Bobby Gillstrap. How's it go? And uh, we're going to go show you guys the uh, Hulking monstrosity that is a 1997 Ford F350. So, first off, the hole, as you can see, uh, I did that. It's a ran into a tractor. Um, that's not good. Hit the brakes and I uh, did not stop. So, that's pretty cool. So, we got our brakes to work on. Uh, the engine bay is just a regular 1997 Ford F350. If you wanted to see the engine bay, just look that up on your own time. It's That's not special. Uh, however, the rest of this is. So, the claws um, were put on by Discovery per request. Uh, we're not going to keep these. What we are going to do is repurpose the piston shocks here and we're going to turn them into spikes like on tiv 2. uh we already have the infrastructure for it but uh those are ridiculous and we're not going to keep that um we're removing the mirrors and putting on uh, the little fpv cameras that are going to go on and they're going to be bubbling so we can see as you can see uh not the the highest quality there so uh, this is the door handle for a TIV, as you can see. It's more like an SMG 50 cal. But it's a door handle, and trust me, that's fine with us. Uh, this is the door handle slot. And then here is the interior of this monstrosity. So let's go ahead and uh, hop in and be very sad, because it's very expensive. Well, will be. So, uh, welcome to the cockpit of the old TIV. We have some turbo housings. And uh, welcome in here. So you can see it's a manual transmission vehicle, which is good because if it was an automatic, I would uh, we spend another eight thousand dollars to put in a manual transmission. Uh, it's a rear-wheel drive vehicle, which again, fine and dandy. But as you can see, as far as the dashboard and everything, it is just a regular Ford F three fifty. However, where things get a little different, uh, the air control and pneumatic systems to drop tiv and then to run the claws and turn on the air pumps. Uh, as you can see, the batteries are disconnected. None of this works. But uh, this right here is the control panel to run all the air systems, to run the claws, and to run generators. Uh, more suspension trickery down there. Then a racing seat that fits. Um, your boy, uh, Shepard, very good. Does not fit me that well. I need a racing seat, a proper racing seat. So let's go ahead and go to the back. As you can see, you got a heat gun. We're checking cylinder temperatures, the inverter at the bottom. Uh, that seat right there is where are you going here buddy that is sean casey's seat back in the tv show and then the chair back there would have been for the chevy channel uh up here is the turret that's the imax turret uh as you can see then up let's go up and then up there you can see is the actual imax housing so that's what the imax house looks like pretty Pretty cool to see, needless to say. So let's go ahead and hop out and let's walk around the rest of the vehicle real quick. At least the back of the vehicle. Let's go ahead and slide out of the racing seats and the massive harnesses. It's like getting out of a late model. It's a pretty cool little car. Get my foot stuck on the door. So, don't get your foot stuck on the door. Uh, this is the air compressor, which runs this bad boy. As you can see, uh, it was a bit abandoned and is very stuck and is very unhealthy. But you can see extra suspension pieces, extra belts, everything you will need to uh, be very poor. Uh, storm chasing. So there you go. Again, it's a better look at the uh, pneumatic system. Uh, we're going to, like I said, repurpose this. We're going to cut this right here and put a spike on it. And this entire housing is going to go to the frame rail. And we're going to put those SOBs nine inches into the ground. So that's what's happening there. Uh, again, powertrain. These are the doors for the end of the tires. The, the powertrain itself is actually pretty normal. So there's nothing to really see there. Um, excuse me. Let me show you. Here's the suspension and everything. Uh, as you can see, it's normal. It's Ford F350. I keep calling that 450. It's not a 450. It's a 350. So I apologize. But you can see, pretty standard Ford equipment. Uh, this is a trunk. This is getting cut off. The second it's allowed into that shop over there, we're cutting that off because I'm sick and tired of dealing with it. Um, these are the two mezzo bases. This right here is the mezzo base. 
Uh, that mezzo base is what connects to the instrumentation system inside the vehicle and gets you all your weather readings. Uh, it's got a big fuel tank. To some degree, I don't know how much bigger it is, but it's uh, in there. As you can see, it's eighth inch armored steel. Uh, my armored steel, I mean, it's just regular plate steel. You can see it's about eighth inch and about that. And it's like that the entire vehicle. So um, you can see the glass is all frosted over. It's pretty terrible, pretty tragic, another little escape hatch. But we are gonna go right here and show you the inside portion, the back half of the vehicle. Uh, a lot like Reed Timmer has his rocket. We're gonna do one too. Uh, I'm just, I guess I'm just copying Reed at this point. But uh, that rocket's gonna get launched back here in some direction. I'm not too sure how we're gonna do that, but it's gonna be in this general area. Um, but yeah. This right here is the back of the vehicle, back of the beast. Uh, that is Sean Casey's weird obsession with stuffed animals. Don't know the whole story behind that. But uh, as you can see, this is the whole inside of the vehicle. Here's a better look at the uh, the IMAX pad, the base for it, and then up into the uh, actual IMAX house. There you go. So let's go ahead and uh, ah! see what else we got here. There's Sean Casey P-Ball, if you're interested. In. So there you go. Put that on eBay. Probably make a lot of money, sadly, because y'all are freaks. But uh, yeah, so that is the uh, the tip two. These little bolts, bolters you see, those are the... That's where the, uh, what is it called? The piston shocks, where the piston set for the, uh, for the claws. So that's the housing for that. And that's it. This is the dome. It rolls on these uh, nylon wheels, as you can see in there. Uh, whoop. Yeah, that's the nylon wheels right there. And it sits and it rolls upon those. And uh, other than that, I'm pretty sure that's what you got to see. So that is the old Tib 1. So that's where we're at right now. Well, I'm still working a lot of overtime. I can't really get to it, which is unfortunate. But we will be uh, back on. Oh, what that was about. But we will get back on it uh, in the next couple of weeks. Of course, I'll probably lay us off. Industry. so we'll probably all be laid off anyway so <laughs> oh, we'll figure it out so uh anyways this is the tiv and uh we'll show you more as more happens